Hi guys, this is the unboxing of my uh, LG 34UM88. Um, it's a 34 inch wide ultra wide screen monitor. Um, I do apologise for any low light quality because I'm using my phone to do this. Um, I have already started unpacking it and I've taken the glass base out. But here you can see the screen is in there facing that way. Uh, you've got some cords and plugs and other bits, of connectors etc. Et in there. And then the stand here. I'll lay everything out and then I'll show you guys what that all looks like. Right, okay, fine. So this is the CD pack. Um, I assume that's drivers. You can see the power pack in here and a few cables, which you may not be able to make out on the actual camera. Um, but you can see there's a HDMI there. Uh, that's also included. That's the screen there. That's the packaging that it comes in. Some other screens, for the curved ones anyway, you, you're supposed to lie them down on the polystyrene and then attach the Visa stand behind, or Vesa stand, however you pronounce that. And this is what that stand attachment looks like. Um, again, that's the base, and that will then screw into here. The actual main, I believe this is a piano black finish stand, um, but again, quite light, not much weight. This, this, on the other hand, is, is actually quite weighty. Um, and again, you can see the model number there, 34UM88. So I'll set this up, I won't go through. I think it's pretty standard, straightforward. Just again, obviously, if I were to tilt the screen up, you'll see the four screws in the back where the stand attaches, different connectors. I'll show you all of that in a second. Um, give me a sec. So this is the screen uh, once you've taken out of the protective, I guess, film or whatever it is that it comes in. You've got further plastics on the back. So I assume it's a gloss black finish, but we'll see once I take this uh, cover here off. Um, here's a view of some of the connectors. So you've got some, I guess, super speed Thunderbolt ports, some USB ports, various other bits and pieces, HDMI, etc. Um, pretty standard, then you've got your headphone jack, which I guess you could put into your speakers. I think I may do that, um, but I'm using this as a, a monitor as opposed to just for gaming, so we'll see how that pans out. Um, and that's pretty much all the application there. And then here, again, you can't see perhaps clearly through the double wrapping that they've put on there, but the screws are there. And then from the front, then you obviously got the LG logo there. Uh, but I will show you what it looks like when it finishes in here. You've got some view, if I just pan it. I want to be careful with it. Um, you, you can see the actual joystick that you use to switch it on, um, and you can see the power logo. And then obviously it toggles left, right, back and forth, etc., to circle through the menu. Um, and then on the front of the screen, here, uh, if you'll excuse my arm, <laughs> I don't really don't want to drop this. You've got the sticker and uh, the whole screen there. So that's that. I'll set this up and then show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so this is what the gloss black finish looks like. I've also opened up the cables. So you've got a DP in cable here, which I understand is the new sort of standard of uh, cable that you have. I understand this is slightly better than HDMI, but not sure. You've got the HDMI cable, the power lead, uh, which is a UK plug, because, sorry, a UK plug, because I'm in London. Um, then it's got the uh, three pin sort of, I guess, adapter. So if your TV or previous monitor already has that, you can probably just leave it as is and keep this as a spare and then plug it straight into this which is the power adapter now I guess this might be annoying for some people for me it's alright because to be honest it's going to be tucked away um, out of sight so and also I think in this design it leaves the monitor looking quite sleek and you've only got a thin cable running down the back as opposed to having this entire power unit built into the monitor so I think overall probably a smart decision from LG's manufacturing standpoint. You've got this which is a clip that clips in here as a almost like a cable tidy um, which you may or may see in other people's reviews. I won't go into too much detail about that. And then here um, probably the most important thing the screws for the stand. Um, so that's probably going to be the most critical thing here for me. Um, I'll attach all this and just show you what it looks like working next. I won't go into any more detail because I expect other people will cover that in their reviews.